Hello, this is Monica from Wicked Avery. Thank you so much for joining me. We will be making some lovely eggs to decorate our home today. Let's get cracking. All right, let's make some eggs. So I got a little uh, plastic egg from the dollar store. And first I have to cut off this little hinge. And then all I do is cover it with my trusted paper clay. Now I did that the other night very quickly before going to bed. I wanted to see if it sticks on it, uh, uh, if the clay sticks on the plastic without any adhesive. And to my surprise, it did. Very easy. It's wonderful when things work out the first time. So many times I try things and it just doesn't work so then it's always such a surprise when it does work. So here is to hope and spring and renewal and Easter. So see that's all it is. Cover the egg with a thin layer of paper clay and try to make it as smooth as possible. Now I have a wonderful tool. It's a, a shell. I love Mother Nature. Mother Nature has our back. So we should have hers. So that's actually one of the things I try to do. I, I am not buying anything new um, for my artwork. It has to be secondhand. I don't know why I do those rules for myself, but I just don't want to add to the burden of plastic so my rule is it has to be second hand or I have to find it on the road so I do pick up a lot of things and this one of course I picked up on some beach and it is beautiful has the it is smooth I tend to be a little bit neglectful with my tools and um, I leave them I have to run off somewhere go to work or all of a sudden the water is boiling I run off and then my little tools end up neglected and turning rusty but my shell stays beautiful the way it is the, the way it was when I picked it off the beach there just like this and then I have my little drying rack here um, my coat hanger that I cut now let's see if I find the hole in the back or on the bottom of the egg there Move it out a little bit. And then since there is plastic in here, I do not put it in the oven. I just uh, leave it by the heat, uh, by uh, my regular heater in the living room there. My, um, it is winter and the heat is on. There, just like this. Stick it on here and there's my little drying rack. So here I have a whole bunch of eggs uh, that I made yesterday and uh, I assume I'm going to hang them up. So the little hole uh, on the bottom I'm going to insert a little wire. I don't know if you can see that. And I just twisted a, a thin wire around. Add a little bit of clay and let's see if that should work. There. And then I let that dry a couple of hours. And then the fun start begins with decoration. All right, here we go. Painting already. A little green is needed, I think. Now, how else am I going to decorate? I've been just wondering. And then I had a little flashback to last September. There. That's right. I dried a whole bunch of flowers from my garden and now I cannot wait to see how they turned out. Let's go take a look. Okay, let's see what I got here. Oh, pretty 
be. Oh, they're nice. Uh, oh, this is a whole pansy here. Oh, so cute. Look at this. I wasn't sure how they would turn out. But that's quite good for the first time. I'm really happy. I wasn't sure if it will keep the color. And uh, yeah, it's quite nice. Okay, let's see what else is here. Yay. It's like Christmas. I can't remember anymore what I put away here. Okay, let's see. Oh. Petals. Oh yeah, I tried some of those grasses. Oh, it looks like they lost the green. And some of those ones lost some of the color too. But very cute. I'm sure we can work with this. There. All right. Well, let's try to glue some on. All right, here I am back at my work table and my little eggs looking pretty. I decorated it, this one here, with some ribbon I found in my stash and could not find any suitable uh, string to hang them on that satisfied me. But I found those beads we had oh, for years. We got those years ago at a church sale and my daughter made those beautiful uh, earrings and little necklaces and I thought how brilliant is that I am going to use those to hang on my tree I always dress up my table for the season and this is my homage to spring I will be collecting more smaller flowers throughout the year to add to my eggs since a project is never really done but for now this is Monica from Wicked Aviary. Thank you so much for joining me and let's get together soon for a new project.